No, at least you're supposed Hello. to voice act as oh, Kiss the Destroyer. Yeah, oh, I know. I, I knew what you were saying, Eva. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, everyone. It's me, Lisa. This is, I guess, what Piss the Destroyer sounds like, because Ava promised you a voice. It's canon. Yep. Um, hello, my name is Elise. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the GM of this game. We are here live with you tonight. <laughs> and then we don't know when we'll be live with you again, but we'll cover that in a minute. Um Hi, thanks, Chelsea. Uh, and yeah, so let's let's just jump into things. We have hi, Heather. Yay, everyone's here. Um, we have um announcements and pre-stream things like the sponsorships schedule and sponsorships. Ava, this what's... stream sponsored by Giant Carrot. If you would like one, leave a carrot on your doorstep. That would be so exciting. If there is a carrot emoji. Leave it in the chat right now <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there is, is there? there's not i don't think so um yep Damn. so giant carrots you heard it here first if you leave a carrot on your doorstep you too can have a giant carrot that's how the sponsorship works we get the word out they pay us the big bucks <laughs> <laughs> um and Oh, we're happy you're here too, Chelsea. And everybody else in chat too. Don't take that the wrong way. Chelsea's just said that she has a break from work. Okay. Uh, there you go. Good job, Sam. Um, <laughs> then let's see. So yeah, next week, well, this week, there's also Monster of the Week on this channel right here in Helpful Goat. And you can watch that at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Eastern, right? On Saturday. On Saturday. I, I think I said Saturday. Uh, yeah, so you can do that Saturday, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> and then uh, next week we have Tear probably on Wednesday. I think it got bumped to Wednesday. Um, so 3 p.m. Nope, 7 p.m. Mountain Time Wednesday. You can watch Tear. A Simple Job, which is us playing in Blades in the Dark. So that's cool. Um, and then there is no Spire next week. And then we also don't know when Spire will ever be played again. Um, so we'll, but we'll figure it out and we'll let you know once we've figured it out. <clears throat> uh, and then on Friday, Fates of Rin, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So that's upcoming schedule. Uh, you can hang out with Helpful Goat, uh, any of those streams, but also by joining our Discord using exclamation point Discord in the chat. Um, and that'll get you a link to our community where we do cool things like read books with Rachel and watch movies with Rachel and go to pumpkin patches with Rachel. <laughs> As you can tell, Rachel does a lot of things. Uh, but sometimes we do other things too. Like we saw, we got to see someone from out of town. You know, that was cool. Um, so, you know, it's a good little community to hang out with. You can use other Discord commands like exclamation point. Um, what else do we have? Merch. You can see the cool merch we have. Uh, sometimes we feature artists in our community like this thing right here, this beautiful art by Chelsea. Um, and we have cool stickers and designs from one shots and games that we play. So you can use merch thing uh and you can use exclamation point donate um i think we haven't rolled over anything for november yet which means it's still two super cool things that we've been promoting um and causes as i say each week near and dear to our hearts um we have the first nation <clears throat> development institute um so you can check that out uh and also the trevor project so both super great um, organizations that support really great causes and um, you know it means a lot to us if you choose to engage with those or other um, you know cause-based organizations uh, let's see yep that's chat commands there will be other ones and can I read the poem and then we have a poem yes Ava please read it in a world of demons deities bees and Drow, captivating adventures of the group that always bring the wow. Each one a treasure with an important part to play. The ending of the world of Spire shall not occur on this or any day, probably. Glorious chaos reigns within the grandeur of the upcoming Blood Ball Part 2. Much love, Spire crew. I can see and hear you. Oh, thank you. Yay, as always. always so good. So good. <laughs> Uh, yep. 
thank you always as always for the poem chelsea uh means a lot to us and also that you chose to be here on your break that was very kind and sweet uh yes besides that i think we just need to do some stress checks and do our recap and then get sam and rachel's abilities for their characters for the week and we'll be ready to jump into tonight um and tonight's game of spire so um let's do the recap first and i'll get stress checks so players what happened last game we we had a spa day we uh went and uh uh we went to the vermissian and uh everybody's best friend alvi uh took took some fallout and some stress uh and i think almost everybody got rid of um some some fallouts uh so that was nice um almost some, almost I, I i i say almost with emphasis if <laughs> were this in a book it would be underlined and in italics mm. um <laughs> uh and then we had a great great chat with uh molly uh duval and i mm, mm, i mean uh anders really wants to you know help help alfie kill this this fucking blood witch but were there it other did, like, things turn around and close my ears and my eyes and then yeah. i had a, a crit success yes when yes tried that was me. so good so good uh, and I th think we learned that um, Juwasha has a daughter that we can use as an in. She is a dancer, if yes. I'm remembering that right. Yes. And yeah. likes music. Likes music, dancer. Her name is Gabrielle. One L or two L's? Very important. That two. Or two. Um, in terms of all that stuff, Din showed up late to the family meeting and, um, was very suspiciously being like, oh, ha -ha, I wasn't doing anything. Of course I was home. You just missed me. And then refused to let, um, all the, like, was like very resistant to getting healing from Alvi and refused to let Alvi remove a fallout. And all the other stuff that Alvi, everyone said. Alvi is, uh, thinks you are pretty sus now because of that. Mm -hmm. Among other things. <laughs> <laughs> and Edit got um, up to some stuff. Yeah, well, the party was speaking to Molly Duval. Uh, Edic, uh, decided to uh, split from the party just slightly for a little bit. That might end up being a little bit more than a little bit. Uh, and he went into the glass library, which is Inspire. Um, <laughs> and um, he successfully uh, figured out the location of Juasha's estate by finding um, uh, the mistress uh in his uh in the glass uh, uh library so he was able to like kind of see an astral sort of form of her um heading towards this building uh and that's basically where we left off like i just followed to the house and then we were gonna pick up with like well what is it that i do inside of this space um uh yes anything else oh and the the house is in amaranth or whatever this building is it's in amaranth um and yeah basically etic is trying to find the eidolon or in absence of the eidolon clues to its specific whereabouts um what it looks like even though he's pretty much assuming at this point that it's a golden chain of some sort um but yeah 
Okay. Anything else from the recap? Are you ready to do stress checks? Um, what was our next like steps? Do we remember like what were we what was going on there? My brain cannot keep up. <clears throat> I think y'all were you, on we your were planning a, a, a we were looking into doing something with you and the daughter with the concert or some kind of thing, but we can't kill the daughter because we can't kill children. Uh, cause it's a red, um, so there has to be some kind of way to do it that doesn't involve killing the daughter. Yeah, which obviously, like, the sharks would save her. <laughs> yes. So I think that the sharks, one of the things that was being done or that um, had been talked about wanting to be done next was for Chu to go and check in on Chu's estate and, and kind of oversee Blood Ball, <clears throat> um, anything that needs to be checked in there. Uh, and... Anders is currently Anders right now. This I is believe. currently Anders, yes. And had uh, sent a message already to EO. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um. Uh. But as what's his name, Dracul? As Dracul. Yes. yes. Sent I'm, a message I'm as Dracul. No, that's play. that's okay. I just just yeah, just connecting <laughs> just connecting dots. Um. Okay. So. Uh, was there anything else that anybody obviously Sam in the glass library is one thing but as a destination or a next step was there something else um, on um, Anders Chu or Alvi or Din's plates how are we going to contact her daughter I can't remember I don't think that had plan had been made you had just gotten the information from Molly Duvall and, okay. and we ended the game with that scene ending Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, then let's do stress and we'll jump in with y'all just kind of being gathered in that area. Um, except for obviously Sam when we know Sam, your next steps and things that you're investigating. I will Yes, yeah, Sam is not gathered in that area. <laughs> Sam is not um, there at all. Etic is not there. While we do stress, I'm gonna get some water. <laughs> okay. But I have two. You have and I know two? exactly where it's at. Okay, no, that's fine. That's what I've got you marked for as well. Alvi? I, you have one? Yes. Edic? Zero. Uh, Anders? Zero. And Din? Zero. Thanks. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Please, you can really bring the hurt this session. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> How many people are going to take severe mind stress last time because of my horrible That's... fail? You did do that. That is true. Uh, good thing you have all those resistances. Okay. Um, well, let's check in with Edic first. Uh, the rest of you start thinking about what your characters might want to be. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, your special abilities. Thank you for that. Um, if you, either of you have a plan or an idea already, what, I don't, what would you I like? should have just been like, oh. I do. <laughs> I do. Um, so the last two sessions I had, I had compel for, you know, working with demons and that just never happened. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll probably be using that next time. Uh, but for today, I'm going to take my uh, additional knack in fix for constructing Eidolons. Okay. And Alfie? Would, do I think that like, if we're trying to find the daughter, would it be something like Pursue? Yes, Pursue. Last time I did Compel to find out what's going on with Din. That did not work out very well. Uh, you know, you got some info. <laughs> did not work out that well. So I'll have pursue like specifically for finding people as your knack. Okay. Or to find people. Right. Yep. Okay. Um. Great. Uh. So, Edic. Uh. The rest of you, please do think about what your characters would want to be doing next. Had it where to head it next. Um. So that when we check in with that group, uh, we can start from having a plan. And uh, Edic. You have seen the mistress um, go into a house in Amaranth, uh, and as the glass library says, you have unfettered access to locations um, 
So that means uh, I would say unfettered as in like you can look and see. I don't think you can physically interact. Right. Like I don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. It's it's not like I'm uh, physically there, but I can see and uh, yeah, witness. Like observe and witness things going on. Um, and another thing we should probably establish before you go in is do we think that the glass library lets you listen to things happening in the because I don't know that that's in the text. Let, let, let's, oh, let's it look. for um, sure does. Oh, okay. While you sit in the glass oh, yeah. library, you can investigate any location uh, in Spire as though you had unfettered, uninterrupted access to it. Um, I mean, if, if you had un as though you had unfettered, I know. uninterrupted access. So as though I, if I had those things, then would I be able to hear them? I think... I think that this ability, if we just say, like, you can do anything with it, like, you know, because, like, if I were if I were honestly saying, like, what I think unfettered, uninterrupted access sounds like, it sounds like you should be able to rifle through drawers and, like, dig through books and things. But I think that, like, that is, like, a really kind of huge ability, right? Like, yeah, 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 I, I would say, like, you know, the... the on the opposite end, like, you know, this would just be like me having a model of this house. I right. don't see anyone that's in it. I can just see the layout, see what's there. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Do We've already established that you can see like what's happening in real time, right? Because you saw the mistress yeah. approach the house and everything like that. So I think I think that will say you can observe um, without being seen what's happening yeah. i think that if you want to be able to hear what's happening maybe we roll for it the potential to take stress from attempting to to arcanely or what whatever the word is in this like what is the word it's not use arcane. the occult yeah use the occult to kind of occult break magic, through yeah. into um and that one potential like just to give you the stakes one potential outcome is if there are people who are very proficient in the occult present then your attempt to break through you know that barrier and listen could also potentially reveal that somebody is scrying essentially um yeah. if take if you fail in a particular way and you know um so that i think is how we'll play it uh just to make it fair perfect yeah okay great um so then where are you what are you doing uh i mean the first thing is literally just seeing where in this house i mean first of all what's the house look like does it just look like a house yeah it's just a nice large house um not so unlike the house in the the neighborhood where faisal's estate was right like it's very kind of typical of amaranth dwellers to have these kind of large homes that have nice gardens and are well cared for by servants okay um so I'm probably going to spend like my time in thirds. A third is going to be getting a complete and total understanding of the geography of this house. Is there like some hidden bunker? Is there, you know, trap doors, secret rooms, that sort of stuff. The other time is going to be spent, you know, in those places where I might think relevant information would be like, hmm, oh, this looks like a particularly prized possession. Let's dig some more into that. And then the last third is going to be just kind of following uh, the mistress and uh, maybe trying to spy. Uh, I almost said fucking Marguerite. Uh, Juasha. <laughs> okay. Um, what would Edic do first? You have just witnessed the mistress walk in. Um. I think I think the f the first thing is going to be because like, I'm not going to lose track of where she is. Did she look like she was walking with a huge purpose or was it kind of relaxed as she was? 
Um, just a normal kind of business-like walk. I mean, not like, gotta get there urgently, but also okay. not totally relaxed. It, uh, if, if there, had, if he had, like, sensed some stress, he might be especially tailing her. But, um, yeah, let's say that right now I'm getting a sense of the geography of the place, looking for those okay. secret rooms, dungeons, so All on right. and so forth. You can roll investigate and high society. Uh, I have mastery in investigate, so I get to That's roll right. two for that. Okay. Um, plus my base d10. I do not have high society. All right, three d10. It is. All right, that's a nine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you spend your, you know, some time um, getting familiar. You kind of. As you kind of flit through using this this kind of, we'll kind of treat it like scrying, um, like a, a scrying thing. You can kind of move this orb of, of your view around the house. Um, yeah, you just easily go through doors. You easily go through up and down stairs. Um, you pass uh, a room um that's cracked open and you kind of peek your head in this is gabrielle's room upstairs you see her um she is home she's listening to music i mean you assume because she's sitting there bopping but i'm assuming you're not going to like <laughs> use your occult like push through just to hear what music she unless you really want to um but yeah she's clearly like listening to music and she's doodling um uh, on a on a uh, um, with some with some graphite on paper um how and... do you drow listen to music do drow do listen have to music? like yeah do, do 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 we have like little walkmen do oh. we have like <laughs> uh that's a great question record? i guess yeah we'll go with like uh what are those like the the one the like little horn looking ones um a gramophone yeah yeah more like that <laughs> <laughs> um this is cutting edge technology remember you're an amaranth um yeah and so, uh, and yeah, her, her room is decorated with posters of different um, idols and different people who perform. You see a good mix of both drow and high elf artists. It seems like as long as they are to her taste, she does not mind uh, listening and indulging in the music of the drow. Um, <clears throat> as well as some symbols, uh, some like iconography in the room of the solar um, pantheon. So the four kind of main deities of the drow. Uh, and it it is placed in the room. I don't know how many of you grew up religious or with religious parents, but it's placed in the room in the way that your religious parents place items in your room, right? Um, you know, you have your little cross or your whatever Hans is hanging on your do door on the side of the, uh, the door frame. Like that's the same type of situation here where like it doesn't necessarily fit in with the rest of Gabrielle's decor, but she hasn't taken it down either. Um, mm -hmm. <coughs> then and, and and is that like the solar pantheon? Those are the gods of the Alfir? The Alfir. Mm -hmm. Hi, Alf. Okay. Um, the main high elf pantheon. It's winter, summer, spring, like the deities okay. of the four seasons, essentially. Um, you leave her room, I presume. Um, you find um, on the second st floor as well, um, <clears throat> several offices. You find uh, one office that kind of has man cave vibes. This is decorated in, um, you know, like strong, like dark woods. Um, leather couches, things like that, that has a very masculine type of feel to it. Um, and though you do not see anybody in here, um, as you kind of look around the room, um, you would sense that this is a place to come back to. This is most likely Joesha's spouses. You you don't know for a fact that she's married, but this doesn't, uh, there's nothing in here that immediately cues you thinking that it's Joesha's or has anything to do with the occult um, or demonic activity. <clears throat> um, so that would be a good place to come back and investigate if you're interested in the spouse. Um, you carry on uh, down to the next um, office, and this one has more feminine touches. It's still, um, it's fairly sparse. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, oh, in the first office, uh, there is a lot of the solar pantheon stuff adorning the walls as well. Um, in the second office, which uh, is, yeah, has a more feminine touch to it, much more kind of like gold and silver inlay on the kind of um, 
stonework desk, like things like that. Um, you do not see very much solar pantheon stuff in this room. Um, mm -hmm. You do see things that kind of trigger your um, very sensitive eye to these things as indicating to you some little bits and pieces of occult dabbling type things left out on the desk or in a drawer um, that's left open a little bit. Um, so you you would guess this is most likely Juash's office. No one is in here either. Um, downstairs, there is uh, the kitchens, the you know, all the normal kind of places. More interesting is a sitting room where Juasha, um, or who you presume is Juasha, um, is. Uh, and you see the mistress in there as well, and they are having a conversation. Um, you pass quite a few drow servants, probably doing their durances, wearing the masks of Juasha's house. Um, you find, you know, all sorts of things like that. Uh, you let's see you do find um a stairwell behind a locked door it's not necessarily trying to be unseen uh but it is not as conspicuous if that makes sense it's, it, it, nothing is drawing your eye to it but you are looking for hidden things um, and it is definitely locked. Um, and it's from Not that to me <laughs> from that same sitting room um, that Joasha and uh, the mistress are in. You that's where this locked door is, and you can go down the stairs into a basement. Um, and I presume you keep going. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Down the stairs into the basement. It is not lit down here. Um, it's kind of hard to see and make out what is going on because no one's actively using the space. Um, <clears throat> but you do definitely get vibes that this is um, a place where <sighs> uh, one of two things is going on in here. And, and based on what you can kind of make out in the dark, this is what I'll give you. You could make either make out in the dark. Yeah, that's what Eddie spends his time doing. Byron comes. <laughs> um, <laughs> you... Whoa. You know what? <laughs> Whoa. I wish that I'd meant it that way. It was a good pun, though, wasn't it? Um, so uh, you, one of two things, yeah, that you can kind of, that based on what you can see, either this is a place where... Um, valuables are kept and hidden away like a like a vault or um based on what you know of who juasha is this could also be a place where high quality demonic equipment is kept um so either way definitely something to probably return to um especially if you can find a way to get here well you can see better so like i am not able to sense like the specific demonic occult energy kind of off of any of this i think it's kind of hard because again like you're not actually present there you can investigate the location unfettered as though i had unfettered uninterrupted access yeah but i mean like a lot of the ways that you sense the occult is about yeah <sighs> do we want to roll for it uh yeah let's roll for it um i think this is a cult and investigate uh and you can take the additional um d10 all right so, so i think you should be rolling four, four d10 yeah 10 beautiful um with a critical success uh you absolutely do get very strong occult vibes um and i'll say that the bonus of this natural 10 um is it is not in the room that you are currently in in the house however a very strong eidolon is nearby is what you sense it's um, not in this house it's it my it is probably in the house it is not in the room in this dungeon or vault like room under the house um and with that thought crossing your mind um you start to kind of like go back through the catalog of places you've been in the house 
uh, and things you've seen in the house and a golden bracelet on Joash's wrist comes to mind. Um, okay, so I'm getting strong occult vibes, but are were those vibes originating from this basement room or were they? Upstairs? Yes, you get the sense that this room is used for occult things. Absolutely. Okay. And in addition, although you do not see a, you don't sense or see the strong idol on in this room, you think it mm -hmm. is in the house or at least very close by. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want to confirm these suspicions I'm having. I'm going to go up and uh, listen in a little bit and try to gauge whether or not I believe that bracelet is the uh, Eidolon we're looking for. Okay. Um, give me like an order of operations. As you come up the stairs, what's, what's Etic, what does Etic do first? I mean, you said that this, like, hidden doorway was kind of in that same room. Yes, so you would come straight there. back into the room where last you yeah. saw Joasha and the mistress were. Um, I think Edic is, like, his curiosity right now, I, I feel like he feels, like, pretty powerful in this moment, getting to do all of this without being seen. So I think his immediate curiosities are going to be drifting towards the bracelet first and then the content of the conversation second okay. um okay um yeah so you come back up the stairs and you sorry i'm opening documents on my on my and, thing and, and i i would i would definitely want to get like i mean presumably juasha is not is wearing a mask right now i forget how elf yes, work in their own they homes. do wear is Masks all okay. the time, even with spouses, even yeah. while sleeping, kind of bullshit. Yes. Okay. Gross. Even <laughs> while yeah. sleeping? Jeez. Um, like, yeah, okay. Taking your bra off when you sleep or something. <laughs> some some do, but many are like, oh no. Oh. A terrible joke. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mold it to their face. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, let, so, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so the necklace, uh, or sorry, the bracelet, bracelet. that's not a necklace, yeah. it's a bracelet, it's definitely a bracelet. Um, <laughs> you uh, get a look at that bracelet, um, and it does, in fact, uh, she, as she kind of gestures, her sleeve falls back a bit, um, and you see that there are chain links coming out of it um that dangle a bit um they look rather fine and delicate um and the they don't link to anything but as you kind of um watch for a moment uh it strikes you to look at her other wrist um and it is hidden a little bit more by her sleeve because she's not actively gesturing but there is another one of these on her other wrist as well um so the, the, it's the same bracelet on both wrists correct Um, are her like ankles exposed? Can I see if she has them on her, um, her feet as well? Yeah, you take a minute to look. She does have like full length pants on. Um, you take, you know, the time that you need to wait for her to like move or adjust in such a way that it might pull the pant leg up a little bit. There are not, uh, anklets. Okay. Um, just on both wrists. All right. And these are... These are giving me demonic energy vibes. On that critical success, the connection, absolutely, you are you are feeling it from this. Okay. Um, uh, in that case, yeah, uh, I think uh, Edic would be feeling quite pleased with himself and he would, uh, you know, take a, a step back and try to just hear what it is they're talking about uh just to get a sense for what their next moves are where is juasha planning on going uh you know wh what is the mistress going to be doing um i don't know how much of our motions are inspiring them to do things um mm -hmm. and i would just like to get a sense for that okay um so eavesdropping is a sneak uh ability so you'll roll sneak 
Um, totally don't have that. And a cult. <laughs> I've got that one. So 2d10 for this? Um... All right, if we're definitely not investigating anymore, I guess it is 2d10. Um, uh, okay, all right. Sure. 2d10. All right, success is six at a cost, right? Yes, it is. Success at am a I, cost. Am I allowed to know what the cost would be before I try to reroll it? Uh, I think in the past we've said, oh, is that right? I think, I think we've said no in the past to that. I think you have to decide before you reroll. Um, uh, yeah, let's, let's reroll it. Okay. I don't want to get screwed up right now. Oh, those are D those are D sixes. We need D tens. Yeah, why the heck did I click that? <laughs> That's okay. okay. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to take uh, D six of mind stress okay. to roll it again. Okay. Because I don't want a failure. Go ahead and roll that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Three. So uh, I now. Have three mind stress. Uh, roll your uh, Fallout D10 first. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I changed how I listed my numbers here. Yeah, I'll roll my... You need a Fallout D10? Yep. So we a two or lower, we'll... Okay, an eight. You're fine. All right. All right. All right. So I'm re-rolling my 2D10 again. And this is it. it has okay. to be this. Oh my god. Okay. Five is still a failure, right? Five is a failure. All right. Uh I don't think I can do it again. So and, nope. and so we're taking the five. The five is the Yeah, five okay. five is what it Dang. is. Uh That's so what? it's a you are unable to push through the the kind of occult barrier of the glass library to actually listen into this conversation. Um I will roll stress. But there, there's no fallout for this unless I get fallout, right? Uh, so that's two. We'll put that to mind. So you're at five mind stress. That was fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and go ahead and uh, roll a d10 for fallout. Oh, come on! <laughs> it hit the 10! It hit a 10 and then it bounced and rolled to a Shit. two. Uh, a two is is going to be fallout um and (laughs) so here's the thing normally you would take mind fallout because this was a mind mind stress that caused it but we did especially like specifically set the stakes before this role of like if you tried to do this you could have this consequence uh, so I will say, as you attempt to push through this, this is still a minor fallout, though, right? Like it's five, not... I think, is medium. I will double check it. Um, well, roll resist for me. Uh, okay, so just resist. Okay, so that's two d ten for me. Okay. Uh, I got an eight. Nice. Okay. Um, so eight is a full success. Uh, so five is a moderate fallout. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have, uh, you do get to erase five, so you can go back to zero stress. (laughs) Hey, you know, it never happened guys. (laughs) Not once. (laughs) Um, and you are going to, um, Uh, we're going to take a slightly um, altered version of the watched fallout. So at this point, uh, I uh, someone is watching you perform an action, uh, and this will come back to haunt you before long is the text of it. So this is going to be, um, you see, it's not Juasha. It's the mistress whose head whips around looking wide, cannot see you. 
looking wildly around the room uh, as this this attempt to like shove your way through this arcane barrier, this occult barrier um, of the glass library. And after a second of that kind of panicked immediate, like what kind of thing, instead you see her go still and her face, well, you can't see her face at all because it's masked, um, but her body kind of goes slumped um, and uh, you feel this like, that kind of rushing sense of perspective shift um, happen where, you know, like if you're watching a video or you're playing a video game and you see like the camera very rapidly kind of sh shift perspectives where like from first person view to like suddenly you're outside yourself looking um, and you get the sense that um, what is happening? Y'all are distracting me and I hate it. <laughs> you told us to I'm make a sorry. Plan. To make a plan. We're oh, are you making a plan? How we're okay. We're gonna destroy the aid <laughs> yes. lot, and we're um, like, will my kiss be enough do. to destroy it? Uh, <laughs> and Sarah goes, "I'm gonna make out with it." Um, and, and then we're here. Attic, as that kind of happens, um, you like see yourself, and you see the mistress sit back up in her seat, uh, no longer kind of slumped and still and make eye contact with the spot where like you're seeing yourself. You see this kind of like connection happen where it almost like she has seen you. Um, and it's unclear to you exactly what magic she might have done for this to happen or what it means that she was able to do it at all. Um, but there is some sort of, understanding from her that they're being watched and you are also being watched. Um, the effect does not last long. You don't get the sense that she is now just permanently, she has a window to watch you, but rather like she had this moment of like flipping almost the glass library, like viewpoint around and seeing you for a second and it's gone. Um, and you see her stand up and uh, go over and like, lower her voice and start whispering behind her hand although she's masked so i guess that's not necessary um to juasha who um starts to respond and they stand up after a moment um and quickly leave the room great okay well that means i'm gonna be moving a lot faster now um edic's gonna recede from his glass library and uh is going to go to wherever he can acquire some actual gold. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll save that for next. We check in uh, some actual gold and uh, is what Etic is looking for, which I believe whatever the shopping area, the silver quarter, is that it? Um, sure. Yeah. I think, yeah, the silver quarter would be your best bet. So you can head to the silver quarter uh, and uh let's hear the plan what's what's going on everybody else what's the crew up to <laughs> sarah the said she looks like kombucha girl uh what that, uh, whenever Sorry. we find the eidolon uh chu is gonna kiss it din's gonna make out with it and Bertold can get in there too and really just fuck the thing to death so hmm. that's our that's our eidolon plan uh at least before we get too I far see out your of message. what we're talking about, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> Lena messaged me about everyone's levels. Okay, well, I'll just move my mic away. So, are you going to be safe, though, Sam? Like, me? is your because she can see like when she flipped. So, when you went into the library, your body is like still where you're at, right? Yeah, I, I was still uh, within the Vermissian. Yeah, so it's like she can, like, do you think she's, like, sending people after your body? Or did she see, like, when it flipped around, did she see you watching her? Or did she see, like, where you're at in the Vermissian? I, I mean, I don't know. But even if she did, I don't expect her to know anything about the vault. You know? Oh, fair. Yeah, the yeah. glass library is a high advance for edix class it would be very very unlikely that people outside of the vermissian sages and very accomplished vermissians at that would have access to it so even if she were able to kind of like see it i don't think she would know what she was looking at however you don't know that <laughs> yeah um i mean edic would have a hunch about all of that for sure 
Uh, but I don't think the players don't really know what uh, the mistress was able to see or not see. So Chu's plan was always to head to the Silver Quarter, right? Afterwards, uh, to set up the concert and everything. I got the lead about her daughter. Um, and so I think, you know, obviously I, I was going to have... Uh, originally, the plan was to invite Juasha, but we weren't sure how to get to her through EO, maybe. But if we can get to the daughter and maybe be like, you're a contest winner, congratulations, and invite her through EO, then that might be a good lead there. Um, so I think I'll, on my way to Silver Quarter, before I go, I'd probably talk to um, Alvi and Xanders, or whoever you're at <laughs> R right now. It's just Anders. We put the Z in Anders, there Anders, that's so right. Alphabetically. I remember now. <laughs> Anders, yeah. I'll talk to Anders. I was like, what? Uh, and um, ask about kind of the contact through EO, if I should send Lev, if it should be Alvi, if it should, if it needs to be Anders, like what's hey, going Lev, on there? it's so. Bev. I, Bev. Allison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lev is an antagonist in a different campaign. There. Yeah, we're just mm. all the wires being crossed yeah, tonight. She said Lev. I was just like, no, that's a name that's right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. It's been a long day. Sorry. Uh, actually, I, it's been a very easy day. I was just, I had like no work. Um, so yeah, Bev. Yep. So Anders, in character, you know, what is the best way to get to her? I can send Bev to go talk to EO, or I can just send Bev to, I mean, I'd rather not send Bev to go talk to a world ending psychopath's daughter and be like, hey, but you know, if I have to, I have to. It's, she's Bev, you know? So I mean, yeah, the, uh, the, the problem is uh, if you're looking at um, saying that you're a friend of uh, Dracul, um, is, you know, it, uh, the more people that are attached to Dracul, uh, more worrisome uh, the situation because um, you know it's it's rare, but um, drow pretending to be high elves and and all that um, it happens, and uh, I don't want uh, Dracul's credibility to um, to fall by the wayside. Um, also, it's it's quite a bit of risk that he's taken. Um, with uh and in contact with with eo and making sure that eo stays in line so the wider that circle gets i i just worry if if it's something completely unrelated and and you just want to you know extend that invitation as uh eo would be a known contact i'm sure that's fine but i i don't know if you would need to pepper on that dracul's you know uh bev's uh contact a friend well, um, wasn't Dracul going to ask Eo to invite? <clears throat> We've already uh, sent the uh, message through uh, to at least get Eo um, to the, uh, the, the, the Blood Bowl. Um, I'm sure if Eo knows about her daughter, she might just use that as additional leverage. Um, I, I, I didn't uh, have this information. Uh, when I originally sent it forward, but if if you need me to uh, just put an addendum on that, I, I'm I'm sure I could I could do that. Either an addendum or um, <clears throat> I could send EO backstage passes through Lev and say that or Bev, Jesus Christ, I could send EO <laughs> backstage passes through Bev uh, and say that it was uh, could something moonlight swords and dies in high elf landia person uh whatever your persona is um Dracul. sure yes um Dracul. divines in entrails oh is, very uh, flashy yes um very, very particular about the she name, refuses yes. to take him seriously <laughs> i don't know it's just she just refuses to believe that you are like a high elf personality because she can't be friends with you if you are um yes that person um she can um you know bev can send it to you uh them and um say like you commanded 
that those go to like her daughter. Since you're inviting Juasha, you're like send these backstage passes to Juasha's oh, daughter. Uh, sure. Yeah. Would that yeah, works. If, if that works. Yeah. Sure. Great. Super cool. How do you contact Eo? <laughs> Where is she? Would Bev know? Bev knows everything, but let's assume she doesn't. How do you? I mean, uh, we have uh, a. Uh, so some I, I actually don't know exactly what the setup is, uh, Elise. I, I don't know if we've ever you talked about. You send messages via a a system that Crowfer okay. taught Dracul. Yes, yes. That can get to the estate. You also do um, know where Eo lives if you want to oh, just go to Eo's estate. Oh, I mean, it, yeah. it was just... in the Silver Quarter. You had a big yes. fight there. Remember, yeah, you almost, yeah. Silver Quarter. You almost yeah. killed Eo. I remember. I don't remember. Yeah. Almost died. Died. We didn't almost it... die. I could have killed the swan. Uh, yeah. You guys the almost did. I don't know if I head. ever told you that, but like you were like one stress away from killing the swan that combat. I know. Uh, oh, it was so close. I didn't even get to use my ability on him. Okay, I'm sorry. There was then a mob, though. Freed. A whole mob. <laughs> and I would have killed them all. Freaks. But oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Now we got the train cult <laughs> cultist. The so, train cult is my train cult. Good. Yeah. Okay, so um, in character, she's like, okay, well, I'm going to go. Bye. Do y'all want to come with me to the Silver Quarter? Check out the place. Check out the concert. I'll set Bev up to go send that last invitation and all that stuff. I know it's like a little last minute, but, you know, we get everything out. We get it all set up. I set up a special VIP room with, like, I don't know, knives in the <laughs> ceiling whatever we need to like, uh, you know, locks, whatever, a, tra um, a trap. And then uh, we set up like an escape route for uh, the little bean because I, uh, I don't know, something about killing the hyper innocent, at least in that sense, I feel like she'll be useful later. Would you mind um, taking Sten with you? Who he's, the hell is Sten? Sten is uh, my my criminal uh, c friend, if I can call him that. Are uh, you Sten? I am, yes, <laughs> and I am not. Um, Tell you what. Sure. You've already <laughs> met Sten. I have. I uh, remember Sten. Sten was. Sten great. also is Eo. known to Eo. Eo and Sten met. Is that good? I don't know. Is Sten, is Sten going to Eo's estate? I don't know where Sten is. No, going. I'm just sending Bev. Uh, no, Sten is Sten, Sten has other things to do. Uh, so how we're many gonna... people have you met Eo as now? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think just two, because I don't think you. Just yeah. Sten... yeah, just Dracul, Dracul and Sten. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'm gonna take a, a D6 of stress here, um, and I'm gonna rip. <laughs> Sten, uh, out Do of it. me. Yeah. There it is. Oh, That's what beautiful. we love to see. That's a six for everyone at home. So Chelsea told us don't let anyone die, and everyone's doing their damn best to die. Hey, it's okay. I got, I got no stress. You yeah, know, great. It's... So, um, what did we put the stress to before? I feel like we just split it up between mind and blood, right? Everybody last we time. did, yeah. Okay, let's do three and three. So what does that put your total three. stress to? All right. Uh, so that is going to put me at two, three. That is going to put me at five stress. Oof, and it's how many to which? Uh, it is three to blood, two to mind. Because I'm assuming my armor doesn't work against internal bleeding. No, you are ripping right. a being out of I like yourself. To yeah. Ask I, yeah. You know what? Sure it's a great that, question, <laughs> but this is not armor based stress. Uh, right. Yeah, go ahead and roll your d10. Uh, we want a four or lower for Fallout, five or better for. And it's a three. Y'all can't stop. <laughs> Another spa, uh, spa day? <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Well, let's do it. I'm just going to dish out more Fallout. This is you guys you cursed it at the beginning of the session when you said, "Oh, we're all free of stress, Elise. You can really dish it out to us this time." <laughs> I, uh, said, I deserve wanted. this. Um, <laughs> to be moderate fallout, this is going to be moderate. That takes me yep. Zero. 
stress. Mm-hmm. So hey, we can do it again. You know, do we want to yeah. want a, a, a third me out? You know, we can. Um, we can make that happen. let's see here. Um, hey Tyler, pick even or odds. Oh no. Uh, let's do. Uh, odd. Here we go. Odd. Okay. Um. So, really I guess, worried. yeah, so we'll make, well, okay, so even or odds, I guess, like, what we'll do, so I was going to assign one blood, we'll put blood, because you picked it, because in the first, so blood is odds, mm-hmm. mind is, and I'll roll a d4. Okay. This will determine what kind of fallout you get. I don't know why it rolled two, but they're both odd, so lucky us. <laughs> I was supposed to only be one, and I rolled two. Um, okay, so Good. that means you said odds, so it is blood stress. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Stun steps out fully formed, and Anders oh, goes God. unconscious. <laughs> oh, man. You are knocked out um, from this. And yeah, Great. you just, uh, Alvi, Din, and Chu, you would absolutely see this happen. Um, Anders just collapses um, and is, is uh, unconscious. What is Sten doing? What is anybody doing, I suppose, to uh, Anders going unconscious? Sten's just going to and... casually, oh, yeah, no, Sten's just going to casually take out a cigarette and put on his, his, his nice, uh, wait so um, it's like a completely separate person now is this like a high yes. advance i can't remember okay it was my high advance yes was, was splitting myself um this is only the second time i've done it so That's anders hardcore. is a little yeah yeah anders is a little new to this and <laughs> passes out it's a limp noodle so he's right, doing so, well uh, should we get going then yeah do you want to carry him because i don't I'm gonna oh, no. run up um, to Anders and I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> he's not dead, right? Yeah, Alvi, you do a quick no, like look over and knowing what you know and like about you know people and things. Sten or er, Sten, Anders is breathing. Anders has no broken bones. Um, he looks a little worse for wear. Like he looks a little pale, a little clammy, a little sweaty. Um, on his brow, but in a way that makes you think like he overexerted himself, and this is his body saving him from get, taking other types of worse fallout from this. Uh, if you wanted to roll fix, um, you could to to help him to try and get him to cu- to be able to come to or mm-hmm. okay, yeah, I'll I'll do I'll do that. I don't okay. have it, but so this is fix in low society. So that's one die for me. <laughs> oh. Uh, can I like slap him a little and help? yeah, you can assist. You can take a an extra I'll put, like a, I'll put piss the cat on him and I'll be like, smell it. It's like smelling salt. Uh, seven. Okay, a seven. Um, you that is a success at a cost. Just take one. Um, stress. Uh, we'll put it to blood because Chew actually makes things worse. Or not, not yeah, by putting piss the destroyer. <laughs> close to you um and you and piss the destroyer don't get along and piss the destroyer scratches your arm and trying to get away uh it gives you a nice big Not cut you. um which puts uh, your total you to one to just blood? one to blood which puts your total to stress blood. to two i don't have so you any resistance do you have to roll fallout for this if you roll a one you will <laughs> you will take fallout from this cat <laughs> scratching the you. blood and passes <laughs> out and now we have moving. two passed out people. <laughs> Go ahead and roll All that right, D10, roll Rachel. A D10. Here's the question. Well, that's it's a six. Roll. You're fine. Yeah, um, if like one of your bodies dies, does the other one continue to like have all the personalities in it, or like if Anders' body dies, are you like screwed and the other one goes away? Yeah, so, so Anders is basically the like, uh, the 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 life source. So if he checks out, uh, to death. We we all die. The the collective. Then what um, if the other guy dies? Criminal dude. That's a great question. Uh that that cover might be lost to Anders. Uh, that's that that is an Elise question if and when that happens. 
All right. I look yeah, forward to it. Yeah, something I'm very prepared and ready for. <laughs> uh, just <laughs> Tyler, real quick, did you take all of your like full? Did you take your five stress back from? Uh, your... yes, I did. I just okay. did the yeah. It's we're we're back to zero and everything okay. is as um, it was. Does anyone just anybody check everyone check your refreshes? Did anything that just happened give anybody a refresh? I don't know if like Alvi has like a help a friend or something, you know. No, my refreshes are destroy an agent of the heart or an occult magician or artifact. <laughs> so okay. I can break Piss's neck. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can do that. Um, it like, like a wishbone. It's it's your Nancy's charm. You just All right, let's, get, like, let's uh, not though. Let's not break Piss's neck. We'll <laughs> When we like destroy the the bracelet, it'll be like the biggest refresh for you. I don't know if that does that count as a cult and magician or is demonic a separate thing? I feel like it's an occult. Yeah. I don't know. All I, right. The fire is weird, so that's true. Anyway. Uh, we've we've messed with those rules a lot this game too because there's not that much about demonic stuff, and this whole season is about demons. So we've had to be like, oh, <laughs> it's like this. Okay. So anyway, um, yes. So Anders, uh, Alvi brings you. <laughs> rouses you from your knocked out, removes the knocked out fallout um, from you with the help of a very uh, angry, loud cat. And um, yeah, uh, you are all now awake again. Sten is there smoking his cigarette. Uh, she's going to ask for a cigarette and be like, hey, can I bum one, please? Uh, I uh, We're on our way to a nice place. Come on, there will be plenty to take a look at there. You know the silver quarter; it's full of chums and saps. Oh, I, I, I know. I'm, I'm gonna go preach to them and, and, and steal their money. Yeah. So, well, not you steal know. their money. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll gamble. Uh, and yeah, he's, he's gonna take the cigarette out, give it to you. Yeah, and she will like rip it up and <laughs> <laughs> just keep walking. That's a little rude. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to instill like the pecking order. So when we uh, get to the silver quarter. I'm going to be setting up a concert. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need, do you have any expertise with like traps or general scummery? Yeah, yes, general scummery is what I do. That That's actually what, what, what they called me in uh, Mr. Winter's Gang. <laughs> and is part it, of that. A, it's a really bad <laughs> general nickname. General scummery. But, you know. <laughs> <That's a> good... <laughs> and, um, you know, when did you do a lot of like, killing pew 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 and uh like traps yeah. but you're good at traps i mean trap you, you don't really need traps when you got a gun that's that's a great that's a great trap you know you, you just make pull the gun a gun out and you're, so what it, if you want to be like kind of a trap you pull the trigger and then the problem goes away okay so if i were to tell you to set up like a very cool murder room that is like a vip room with maybe like a hole somewhere where we can shoot people through it like does that sound good to you um I could, I could whiff something up, I'm sure, yeah. Okay, cool. So, are you willing to come to the Silver Quarter with me? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have, I, I told you, I, I have some preaching to do there. And by preaching, I mean right. gambling. Alvi? What is happening? We're going to the Silver Quarter to set up a concert. Would you be willing to help us uh, make sure we get everything set up without all dying or blowing our cover? I don't want either of those things to happen, so yes. And so you're cool with carrying the bot? Oh, wait, no, you're awake. Anders is I'm awake. Awake, yes. <laughs> yes. I know. I take care of my friends. I take care of my friends. Okay, yes. Okay, so the you know. The, you the hidden goal for this interaction that you guys get bonus experience points is to make it so that Anders and Sten have to talk to each other. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Um, okay. I also want to say that, like, before this goes too far, um, when Anders, like, passed out, um, Din took that as an opportunity to, like, sneak out. I thought uh, it was so going to, like, actually, loot the body. <laughs> I'm actually, I didn't say it because I was waiting until we this, but I have been watching you. And if she was, like, I mean, that, like, that was in my head and I was waiting until we were, like, a thing and gonna go and stuff, but, like, Alvi is not taking her eyes off of Din. 
So Dan you... can try and sneak, but Alvy is trying to With watch. the role to fix and the cat and everything, do we think that that was an opportunity, right? Like, does that make it harder for Alvy to keep her eyes sure. on? You can say that yeah. for sure. But I so totally... I think that this would be a diff- <laughs> like an at difficulty role um, for you to, to notice, essentially. But like... As opposed to her to sneak? Or would it be like I'm plus one to sneak? Yeah, I think... Okay, so... I mean... I, yeah. I'm fine either way. No, yeah, we'll have Sarah roll. So Sarah, go ahead and roll sneak. Um, or with master, and low society. Um, and <clears throat> we'll say you get the mastery because you waited for a diversion. That will will swing that one. And I will say that she was kind of cycling through the group to see like what everybody was going to be Those doing are as part of this. Sorry. Oh, you rolled a 12. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. That's Where'd a critical success. <laughs> I oh, think I don't see her. Yeah. This whole time, I'm like, I'm you not were like, let that bitch get away. Eyes on Din. watching her like a goddamn hawk. But Anders, go, Anders goes down, and that was, yeah, that was her, that was her one like, second oh, no, she needed. Friendship. Yeah, she exactly. Friendship Everybody ultimately. Is. Uh, friendship <laughs> um, yeah so in your in your moment of uh of kindness alvi uh din being <laughs> the person she is takes advantage of that of your kindness and sneaks away <laughs> um and yeah uh Sorry with a din. With a critical success, I would say Din is uh, long gone before anybody Mm -hmm. after the whole Anders and uh, collapsing. When it's time to go, Alvi says, son of a bitch, she's gone. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and so I think she would also notice that at some point and be like, so Alvi is probably going to go. (sighs) Do you think we should be worried about that? Yes. I mean, look, I don't worry. She wouldn't let me help her. Hey, Din is weird. Look, we come from the same background. She's got knives that kill demons. We'll be fine. She'll be back. You I trust are her. Probably correct, but you're also too loosey goosey about things. I'm loosey goosey about everything except for like very random specific things. I know. I don't know how to follow you at all. I know. Uh, so do you wanna go? Yes. <sighs> God damn it, I don't have pursuit. Can I have another cigarette? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 I, I, I don't think you can. Um, I'll pay you a, a gold when we get there, or silver. <laughs> it's called Sten. I'll kill, I'll, pay, it's I'll pay you. It's called Sten, thank you very much. I'm sorry, I, uh, I have enough money that I don't have to deal with physical currency. <laughs> you no. pores. You pores. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke because my name is Sten. I see. Can you imagine your name being Dollar? (laughs) That's what my name is. My name is Rachel. (laughs) If you don't, we're all going to be disappointed in you. You know what? I'm going to call that kid now. (laughs) Dollar. Oh my God. Hey, Dollar. Have it on the screen. Just put it in the cannon now. (laughs) Call them Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, No, I'm going to name it Dogecoin. Crypto. Crypto. Oh my god, please. I could okay. see a good actual name. Crypto Dollar Dorschner. <laughs> Should we get a break? Have we lost the thread? <laughs> is it gone? <laughs> well, we're headed to the Silver Quarters, and nobody is worried about Din slinking off into the night with knives. And um, I'm also well, going to the Silver Quarters. That's true. Oh yeah, I and don't, we don't mind, know where uh, Eric is. Breaking off to look cool. for Din, though. Uh, I mean, you'll have Stan. Anders... You. Yeah. You just passed out. I did. Like, and you were just existing. I, so, to be I fair, a race five stress, he feels better than he has in a while. I feel <laughs> I feel just about as good as hey, I did. Uh, I'll be about, good at uh, well, right before I passed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I gave him little bee massages all yeah. over his face and his <laughs> eyelids while he was out. He just feels so invigorated for all the little bee feet. Where would we even start searching for Din? Because I'm going to be honest, after spending my durance with her, if you don't know where she's at and she doesn't want you to find her, like you could look all over Spire, you're probably not going to find her. Uh, mm. Yeah, so let's go to the Do Silver know Quarter. What Din does on her time off? Um, uh, on the, like a, 
a, a work acquaintance at this point. Um, she visits animal shelters a lot. I don't know why. She goat likes shelters. to take specifically goats. <laughs> goat shelters. <laughs> she draws no. them. <laughs> goat, goat shelters. Huh? Um, yeah. Um, I, Anders... can, I can what that. Um, I was gonna say there's also if you want to uh, give me give me a luck roll. Be uh, sure. A six. Um, I think from the morning conversation with Alvi and things, um, you don't you don't know where Din goes or whatever, but you piece together like Din having acted kind of strange recently, and Din like sneaking off might be related. And if that's the case, then like you do have specifically in mind that like the things that she's most recently been like upset about or like talking to the group a lot about would be the mm. demons and things. So if you wanted to like use that as a place to start, I think that that's well within kind of Anders deductive skills here. Great. Um... I personally have no idea where Din went. So I'm just giving you that as like <laughs> flavor for like what I think Anders would be thinking about, which is, I don't know why I did that as a GM, but I did. So <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Anders is gonna, um, you know, shoo the group off, and then is going to start uh, the, uh, oh, what is it? A Single Night's Grace. Um, and to figure out what Wait, uh, cover we're looking before at. Before we go too far down this road, uh, one other thing that Chu was gonna maybe potentially suggest if Anders didn't know what to do is that Anders could go get into contact with the ch with the Ministry. Because I don't know if we've updated them at all about the situation, and it feels like this is like, I mean, given the fact that this is like catastrophic world ending shit, it feels like maybe they would be at a point where they would at least be willing to like devote some extra resources to help us, whether that's like information or like cover up afterwards or what. Um, but that's like if if we have like nothing else to do. I mean, I think right now it just continues what you're doing, but just wanted to mention that in case, cause I don't, I don't, nobody had mentioned it yet. Can I, can I try to use uh, my high advance again? <laughs> Put it yes. again, yes. A second type to rip a second person out of you? Jeez. Yes. But they're uh, each what does, half this, what does this say they're about like, <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it says, mark uh, D6 stress, cast this spell, split yourself into two forms, you want to cover identity of your choosing until the next dawn, yeah. you control both characters, yada yada yada. Um, bu bu you may have as many instances of this spell active, active as you have covers. Oh, yes. But they each get yeah. shorter and shorter every time. Like, height-wise? Height, yeah, like not like a little either, like a lot, like a foot or two every time, till they're right. like. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> go for it. Rip another, Ew. rip another human out of you, or another drow um, out of you. Yes. It's probably best we send Bertold to the uh, ministry, correct? No, um, Dracul. Hey, you know, you probably know the ministry better than I do. I'm just here because they like the way I sing and murder. So yeah. Alvi, oh, folks. yeah, don't send Dracul. Yeah, that's a bad I idea. I wouldn't send Dracul anywhere that I'm not going with him. All right. Uh, so, yeah, here's uh, here here comes Beartold. <laughs> Beartold, right. please don't hurt me as much as Sten did. I'll take that. That's a two. Uh, okay. And, yeah, let's divide it. One mind, one blood. So does that put you at two stress? That puts me at one stress. Two, two blood. Two blood. Okay, <clears throat> you can't take Fallout on one, so you don't have to roll it. And uh, there's Berthold. Has Stem uh, left yet? Oh my god, there's three of them now, you guys. It's all I've ever wanted. Uh, Alvi is just like, uh, uh. Um, hey. So, you... is, it, is it weird if I want y'all to make out? <laughs> <laughs> let's go to break okay <laughs> that's a perfect break uh, time. yeah oh for sure <laughs>
Um, all right, everybody, we will be back in uh ten ish minutes. So eight oh two, eight oh three is hopefully when we'll be back. That's mountain time. Um, so friends, thanks for hanging with us. Um We've got three different characters for Tyler to play because why wouldn't we? Uh, and Din is in the wind. So um, we'll, yeah, see you in 10 minutes. Everybody go manage your fluids and things like that. And uh, we'll see you in 10. Bye, everybody.
Hi, everybody. It takes me so long to click the little mouse. Like I can click with accuracy all the time unless I'm starting a stream. And then it's like, <laughs> like how do I click things? <sighs> Hello, everyone. We're back. Uh, we're starting right back where we left off uh, with Din, who has just sneaked away from the group. Um, let's see where, Din, are you headed? I am, um, what time of day is it? It is, um, uh, mid-morning, kind of close to noon. Okay, I am headed toward Amaranth. Okay, headed to Amaranth. Uh, you can, you are already in the Vermissian. You can, uh, find a gutter king guide or you can kind of make your way to a sky whale dock um out in the uh the non vermisian part of spire uh i'm gonna do uh, the sky whale okay um yeah so you you know a route easily back to the sky whales in perch uh you find a sky whale heading for amaranth and uh board it and are able to uh make your way up to i guess i can put us back on the amaranth map i didn't <laughs> we're going right back to it um not that we use it that much in the rule 20 but you know Uh, yeah, and it takes a it takes a couple a little bit, um, makes stops along the way, but you are able to make your way there. Uh, and what do you do from there? So I am heading toward. I'm just trying to get the on the map. Um, I have a location for an Elfier named Lord Allen Morning Snows. Yes. And um I have a drow contact in their house uh named Penny and um I am I'm going to where uh have seen Penny her route basically yeah um so you know that penny works in the kitchens uh because she was out getting bakery breads for the morning meal when you last encountered her uh so you make your way kind of back towards uh where you've seen her before the kitchens um there is a servant entrance in the back of the house this is um this is not a fully walled in estate this is more like this is a, a slightly poorer, such that there is a poor part of Amaranth. There isn't. But this is a poorer. <laughs> it is not as extravagant part of Amaranth. Um, so this is not a fully walled in estate. It's more like a, a row of, of very nice houses in a very nice upscale neighborhood. Um, and so you can go kind of around the back to oh, through the gardens um, uh, to the back. Um, I think that there's a chance people will see you doing this. So if you would like to do it without being seen, you would have to roll sneak because it is broad daylight and you are just a drow dressed in normal clothes. But you are masked, which helps. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rachel, um, is this a hand in the air? No, like, this oh. is uh, the cat is getting in my shit. Sorry. Okay, I was like, are you, are you like, I need attention. <laughs> no, no, here's a cat. He needs attention. Hello, cat. I like cat. Say hi, cat. <laughs> Hello, cat. Hi, cat. Tis the best part of the stream. Cat can. So fresh. <laughs> You've kind of simbed him. Okay. Um. So, Sarah, uh, are you sneaking or are you just kind of walking around? Um. I am sneaking, but hold on. Uh. Yeah. So i i would I would want to be wearing the citizen's mask. So that's you roll okay. with mastery when you're attempting to pass yourself off as someone unimportant or beneath the attention of your target. Excellent. So like I'm just trying to be like blend with the. Yeah, totally. So. Okay. Uh, so you can roll sneak high society with mastery. So that should be three four d ten for you. Uh, a nine is your high roll. So that is a full success. Uh, you easily manage. And it's like, you know, you don't sneak in like the like 
from bush to bush. Nobody sees you, but more like uh, you just walk around in a, such a way that everybody is like another person who's just walking through the estate to do what they need to do for their business. Um, and yeah, get to the servant store um, and not far from the servant store. Well, you've never been in the estate before, um, but typically servant stores in the back go into uh, kitchens and area of storerooms, places that servants need access to quickly. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just going to get my screens where I want them. Um, so... Um, I am going to use my smell status ability. Uh, once per session, ask the GM who's really in charge here. You can find out easily, or you already know thanks to your connections. And so, like, I, I do know who is in charge here, but can I use this to enhance a role to figure out where they are? Interesting. Um... Yeah, yeah. So you're trying to figure out where Lord Morning Snows is, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you can roll uh pursue. Um, do you have the pursue skill? No. You can roll as if you have it, so you'll take the D ten uh with high society here. So that should be three. As an eight, a full success. Uh, yeah. So um, using your smell, you know who's in charge, but um, this is kind of the first time you've only heard of uh, this 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 high elf before. You've never actually seen him. So you take a little bit of time to like suss out the lay of the land and who's coming and going. And um, you know that uh, Lord Morning Snow's noon um, is home um and is uh you know as you kind of like scope out where the situ like from the outside of the building like the windows and things um and you watch where the servants are going with the food as you kind of go inside he is taking his lunch um in an office on the ground floor okay um I would um I'm gonna go um kind of just uh, uh again in a similar manner as to how I kind of entered the estate in the first place just very Oh, I just belong here. Um, kind of walk toward that area and um, try to. Uh, so it's like two things at once. So the one thing I have the knack in is like the eavesdropping, the eavesdropping and listening in. Okay, eavesdropping. <laughs> A um, new word. <laughs> new word that combines them both. And. So what I want to do is kind of like linger, but not in a suspicious way, but I want to try to listen in on to what's happening in the office to see like, is he alone? Like, no. Yeah. What's going on um, I, I think like, that I this feel is... like it's like two things because it's like mm -hmm. the listening is the knack, but like also like my physical body is like right just there. Um, I think, yeah, that this is two things. Go ahead and roll. Uh, I think this is a new situation uh, because you're in the house and it's a very different circumstance than being in the gardens. Uh, so roll sneak high society um, with the citizen's mask um, benefit. So it should be 4d10 again. That is one of the first times we had a compounded critical. So you got two tens. Ooh. 
Congratulations. Yeah. Um, that is uh, excellent. Yeah, you win and it's <laughs> over. Um, it's been a while since we've seen one of these, but basically uh, the extra for every extra D10 success that you have. So you ro- your base D10, you get like a narrative bonus for rolling a D10. You get a full s- critical success. Then every additional D10 is an additional bonus um, related to that. And one thing you can choose to do is use that to s- cause stress to somebody nearby you. Um, so if you want your additional D10 to cause stress, you can do that. Here's what we'll do. We're going to resolve this roll and then we're going to cut to Anders because if Anders is tracking you fast enough i would say that it wouldn't be we'll see i think it's going to be a tall order for anders to track you fast enough but um let's resolve this so first of all your question of what's going on in the office he is eating lunch and you listen for a while unseen unnoticed um and uh he never speaks you get the sense that if there is someone else in the room it is at most, and that's a terrible way of putting it, a servant who is standing there just to um, wait on him as he eats. But he's certainly not talking business with anybody in the room. He is alone um, in the room. Um, what kind? Uh, I want you to think about what type of questions you might ask from this role, because I'll answer a few more questions um, in Din's investigation or around as the additional bonuses. And let's have uh, Tyler roll pursue, I presume, um, to see if you can follow Which Din. Which one of you is following? I think it is Anders, right? Bertold uh, is going to the ministry. Sten is going yeah. to the silver quarter. And Anders is going <laughs> after yeah. Din. Um, we found a way to split the group and keep it together. Uh, yeah, see, <laughs> this is this is why I took this advance. Um, uh, Sarah, question. So I know you had talked about Amaranth while we were doing the planning. Are are, are we to assume that that was like a, a conversation that was happening off screen, or because of the way things happened, that conversation never occurred? You know what I mean? Like like would Anders know that you were planning on already going to Amaranth and just left without everybody, or was this just like a whoosh and you're gone? Um, that was more me talking like over the table about okay, like okay. A, a thing I want to do. Yeah, great. Okay, I, I I was just trying to figure out if I could argue for high society as a domain. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. Whatever. So this will be. Uh, low society since you are trying to ta- track Din. Din sure. belongs to low society. Um, yeah. It will be pursue and it will be at difficulty one because Din roll a critical success to get away. All right, y'all, get ready for this. We got a whole <laughs> D10. Uh, seven is a success. Minus one hey. is still a six, six, which is a success at a cost. Um, I will say, what should the cost be? Um, Stubbs' toe. Stubbs' toe. <laughs> I stubbed my toe and um, personality. I think oh, no. it's, oh no. Um, Fall in love. Uh, I think that you're going to take silver stress for this because you have to bribe some gutterkin to give you some info. Um, so go ahead and just mark one silver stress. Sure. Uh, what does that put you at? Uh, that still puts me at one stress total. Okay, so you okay, so you had a resistance. Um, yep. good, and uh, they do point you in the direction back to, um, the uh the main like area or the to perch. Sorry, to perch. Um, that's where Din went from there. From there, mm-hmm. you're able to um, you ask. Most people didn't see Din. That's kind of her M.O. Uh, but she was not seen at any of her usual haunts or places that she goes to. She's not at home. Uh, so the only logical place for her to have gone is the Sky Whales. Um, and I would say that from there, you can kind of track back the schedule of which Sky Whales left when. Uh, you would know then that she is headed up Spire. Um, and... 
I, th- I mean, I don't know how much, like, do we honor the six and say a success is a success, you track her all the way to Amaranth here? Or do we say, like, that is logically as far as you could get is that she was headed up Spire to a sky whale that, with a sky whale that goes all the way to New Heaven, uh, which means she could be getting off at pretty much any stop between Perch and New Heaven. You could have another role for ultimate drama sake. It's whatever you want. I think this will be a second role to see. Of, uh, and yeah. you can tell me, what would Anders do from here to try to figure out where uh, So Din went the information I would have is just that they were looking for a sky whale, but not as to where they would have been getting off. Correct, because yeah. the, it's like a bus. Uh, you know which line she got on, but not which stop she got off on. And right. that the stops that you know could potentially be interesting to Din include the Silver Quarter, Amaranth, and New Heaven, because all of those are upspired from you. And mm. those stops, I mean, like the Silver Quarter, you would suspect that she would have just stayed with the group. Uh, Amaranth yeah, and, and New then, Heaven. And then you know I that don't... New Heaven is... Like yeah, where just, all the just, demonic stuff. Yeah. So so just logically knowing Din, I don't think Anders would 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 think that Din would go to New Heaven, just because you know that's where all the the source of Din's biggest fear is. Uh so yeah, I think yeah, and and yeah, the like she would have just stayed with the group if if we were doing uh, Silver Quarter. So I will be going to Amaranth, um, and then. Gosh, and and probably knowing that, you know, Din doesn't want to be tracked, Din left alone, Din is probably wearing the citizen's mask, so it's not like I can ask, did you see a drow Exactly, yep, time? you yeah. are, once you get to Amaranth, yeah, there's, there's no picking up that trail. Yeah, um... Mm. Or what I should say is, you can roll for it, it will be at difficulty two, and given... Well, her critical successes were once she was inside the house, so I would say that at difficulty two... It is possible you could glean some information, but I don't think that just to, you know, let you pick how you want to do this, even a success at difficulty two will not necessarily lead you directly to Din's spot, right? Because she was successfully right. sneaking. Right. Yeah, I mean, why, why the heck not? Let's uh, let's let's keep a track in here. All right, roll um, your one d ten. You're well. You're in high society now. You can take high society and pursue. Oh, great. All right, so we'll, we're we're at it, two whole d ten. Oh wow! That's, Minus two is you know a what? two. Lucky mm. for you, it wasn't a one mm. and a three because mm. then you would have had a critical yep. failure, um, yep. which is something that we have seldom had in this game. But you do take double stress if you get a critical failure. Like what? whatever I roll, two you just double it. Failures. Yeah. Whoa. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, I've, I keep smelling something like something's on the, like burning on the stove, and I'm like, do I need to go check that or? <laughs> Probably not. It's Can you imagine it. if we critically failed that role when we all saw like the destruction of Spire? That would have been instant party wipe. That would have been something. And well, that. All two, right. She would have um, walked. She would have been the sole one to walk away. And oh, would have let's taken see, Anders. Uh, you are going to take stress here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll. A D6, because you're in Amaranth. Yeah, yeah, that that, that, that checks. That feels right. Yeah, there it is. The there it is. <laughs> and it's going to go to Shadow. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. No, that what checks. does that What does that put you at? <laughs> All right. Stop. This is Anders. <laughs> uh, that is going to put Wait, me Does that mean it's a 12? No, no it wasn't a critical. It wasn't no, a critical failure. But it means failure. that all of the other bodies are just gonna melt or something. Oh, if, you mean if he got two, you ones, will find out yes. very quickly if no, Andrews if he had got yeah, enough. if he, he rolled he rolled a four minus two is two, so he did not roll a one on this. Oh, I was saying I if see, he had rolled a three, if he had rolled a one and then okay. the minus. I see. I'll put me at, at six total, so That'll five put to you... shadow, one to blood, and then go ahead and let's... roll a d ten. 
scroll. I want you to take Fallout on this. Cruelly, I really want you to. Oh, no, I didn't. (laughs) You did take it, though. That's a one. Yeah. Anders. Is that that super Fallout? Fallout today? No, no, that's not a super fallout. A one is just a one on a fallout die. Okay. It just means that I you... Just, you know, yeah, I, 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 you're I like, you're ready for anything. Things. You're like, come on, let's go. I guess it's super fallout now. I go to super hell, like the gays. Sorry. I, I, oh my I God. honor <laughs> You know Hi, what I'm Dad. referencing, right? <laughs> you know what I'm referencing, right? I'm sorry, that's a reference. And I realize oh, we're I, live I, on the I internet. Know. And like, everybody here doesn't even know who oh, I am. <laughs> You're it's just a reference. referencing the United States. No, yeah, there's like just, a whole just referencing. <laughs> you, okay, like well, Joppa, you, Maryland. You take a minute to <laughs> you take a minute to look up super hell and get yourself into that trouble, and I'll oh, I'll finish your supernatural. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry that I brought it up, everybody. Everyone is worse <laughs> for it because I brought up Supernatural on stream, and I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, uh, it's moderate 15. Fallout. You can take five Fallout off of your uh, or five thing. Um, okay, Anders. Yeah, I'm here's, almost back to normal. Here's what's here's what's gonna happen. Um. We'll take. Huh. Anders, <laughs> you're mm-hmm. walking down the streets of Amaranth. I sure am. And you hear someone. Uh, what is Anders' real like real name? Is it Anders? Stolkin? It's Ander- Anders yeah. Stolkin and they, in the they military. Call, in the he military, they called him the bishop. The bishop. Uh, you hear someone, uh, <laughs> someone say, "Holy shit!" A- Anders Stolk, Anders Stolkin, the bishop. Um, and you turn around, and there is. Someone from your military days in Amaranth. Mm. Uh, and mm-hmm. let's. <laughs> yep, <Ew>. just. <laughs> yeah, cut to Din. <laughs> well, okay. Tyler can stew in this. Um, I might need to be reminded a couple things about your backstory to make sure that I don't fully. Is that all in your character sheet? It sure is. Awesome. Uh... I think we had said this when he was first introduced. I can't remember if uh, if it's in the backstory or not, but there are there are wanted posters. Yes. Yep. All over Spire because you know he did some stuff. Yeah. Um. That is correct. Boy, oh boy, this has been one wacky day. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Um. Well, it's not severe fallout, so... <laughs> oh, it's about to be. <laughs> All right. Uh, Din, have, what are your questions or thoughts about your critical successes? Um, I just have a different question that is not from Din, but it's from Sarah. Yeah, okay. Since there's only like a half hour left, and I just want to make sure that everyone... I don't know if other people want to take time. Like, I can go, but I don't know how long it's going to take and stuff. And so I just want to make sure everyone gets a chance. Um, let's, I, w- I would like to hear, I would like to f- resolve the critical right. success uh, situation before we cut away. Okie dokie. Um... So I Din would um look at my character sheet. Um go into the room that um Lord Morning Snows is in here. And um I have one of my like Abilities that I have is servant to the high ones. You spent years bowing and scraping at the feet of the high elves when interacting with Elfir. Roll with mastery on social checks. So, question: What would social checks be? 
Um, anything that kind of is like you using like compel, deceive, right? Those kinds of like based on you talking to rather than trying to make harm, do harm or um, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so I would um, enter and uh, what does the office look like? Um, it's fairly large. There are um, display cases along one side with some like relics and artifacts um, and then a large desk kind of in the center with two chairs facing it. Uh, that's where Alan is sitting. He's eating his lunch. Uh, and then kind of on the walls, there's bookshelves uh, as uh, and lots of books, which are a fairly like, you know, impressive commodity here, um, as well as um, some paintings, some fine like oil paintings, which are very abstract and bizarre in the way that much high elf art is. It's just completely like it makes no sense and that's the point kind of kind of art um and yeah that's that's what you see okay um it is not a danksy piece um tragically just not as good honestly <laughs> okay so um i would enter the office and um stand in front of the desk as if you know again like i or din is supposed to be there right and um i would say i'm here on I'm here on business from Lucian. Uh, just uh, for your info, Lucian would absolutely you would you would it call him Lord. Lord, um, Lord. Yes. What is the last name? Rhymes cracks beneath. Okay. Okay. Rhyme cracks beneath. There it is. Lucian. Uh, yeah. So Lord that's what I would beneath. say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which for everyone um, listening, that is Joash's last name. thought it sounded familiar um yes lord rhyme cracks beneath um he's a little unhappy with uh your latest dealing reaction. Uh, yeah go ahead and roll um Deceive by society, uh, and you get your knack already for this. Um, yep, I have deceive, I have high society. So, what I do four, four d10. Um, I will let you re roll one because of your double critical success before we have not fully resolved that double crit uh so reroll okay. one and if it's higher than a six we'll take it if not we'll take the six <laughs> seven no change really because six and seven are the same but you know mm -hmm. um yeah we're gonna go ahead and just put some shadow stress on you let's roll that i feel like same reasoning applies you are in amaranth lying in the biggest lie you can this is a d6 mm -hmm. that's three stress to shadow okay what does that bring your total stress up to well, let's see if i can do math <laughs> so this is four two Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a d10, and on a 1, you'll take fallout from this. There's my good roll. Um, okay, yeah, with a 9, you are safe from fallout. 
Um, and you do successfully uh, deceive him. So he um, he kind of gives you uh, it, like he sets his fork down, leans back in his chair. And he kind of uh, rubs at his forehead a bit and he's like. Lucian, what? <laughs> we barely worked together. What do you mean he's mad about my last deal? Who have I met you before? Who are you? We've not met, but uh, I've been sent as a type of warning. Uh, I'm so upset. Um, <laughs> man. Um... So I had wanted to um, get the uh, NXT ceremony thing before I had oh, gone, yeah. but I totally forgot. So I, <laughs> you know, Etik wasn't there and I was just like, all right, I'm going. Um, it's my narrative reason. The real reason was I just forgot. Um, but... Oh man. Um The dog came to say hi, but she didn't come all the way around the corner. Tragic. I like this. Um so I'm just gonna say I um <laughs> Okay. Um basically just like real life, I <laughs> panic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I say that. I say I've come as a warning. And um, my last, uh, he was the masterless mask. Yes. Uh, you become an avatar of the rebellion. You create a mask that is whispered of in Elphir circles, the masterless mask, terror of the Elphir, uh, scion of the red moon who will visit their doom upon them. When you wear it, you roll with mastery and inflict D8 stress when you attack an Elphir, regardless of what weapon you're using to do it. Um, and then there's more stuff from there, but um, I'm just gonna attack. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you swap your mask real quick and uh, roll I'm using. Uh, fight. Hold on, hold on. I'm uh, I'm using that demon dagger. No, okay. like, it's just a regular dagger as well yeah. as one that works on. Demons. Yes, that absolutely. All right, yeah, you're gonna roll fight. Uh, high society. Is it fight? What's the word? Yeah, fight and high society. Um. Uh, yeah, six is a success at a cost. So go ahead and roll your D8 of damage. Also, all of your weapons have the surprising tag. Oh, hold right? on. So, uh, yeah? Din definitely has fight, right? Mm -hmm. Does Din not also have high society? Oh, yeah. You should have rolled 3D10 there if because you, you have high society. I thought you didn't have fight. Oh, uh, okay. okay. So you can roll Sorry, one more, yeah. and then if you if it's higher, we'll... It's okay. not higher. Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so I'm yeah, you, um, five stress, uh, that's enough to kill a regular person. And you sure do stab this businessman in his flabby little <laughs> gut. Yeah. And, um, we'll say the, uh, the stress you take is going to be blood stress of, uh, the resulting, like he tries to, um maybe it takes you like a set like with the dagger like you telegraph your move too much and he does manage to kind of get a swipe on you as well oh. and you will take it's rolling it's thinking to blood stress do you have any resistances nope or armor do you have armor mm, i don't Okay, then uh, go ahead and roll a d10 and add a two or a one. You'll take fallout from this. 
Elise, I forgot that I have yes. armor. Could I have my stress from blood have gone to that? I didn't take any fall oh. or anything. So. Yeah. Yes. Piss the destroyer's physical damage like um that would go that to could armor. Could have gone to my armor, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah. Um so in this so I'm case at one stress. Sorry. Yes. No worries. Um you are uh you do not take fallout because it has to be lower than your stress level. Um well, my stress level is four now. I have I have two to blood and the four to shadow, so the the t- the total is four. Oh, I didn't have the. You didn't have any armor, or did you not have enough to? No armor. Oh, yeah, I don't have any armor. I have anything. armor, and you don't. <laughs> Academic. Um... <laughs> okay, uh, so you do take fallout from this. It's it's the lowest level of fallout you'll erase three stress for this i have given so many fallouts this game i'm just like flipping back and forth i should have left it open um okay and you will take um bleeding uh until you get proper medical care each time you make an action mark one stress against blood before you roll the dice um, but you don't check for fallout for it. So you don't have, it does not count, like make you roll fallout, but you'll no. just be accruing stress until the next time you do have to uh, roll or until you oh. get it fixed. Um, okay. Uh, and with that, you, you have to take action to get it fixed. So you could go to a healer who could just do it for you, but you can also try to bandage it yourself and it will be a roll. And if you fuck it up, you'll take more stress, but also doing the roll will cause your, your stress to go up by one. Um, what is your, um, refresh? What are your refreshes? Uh, show someone they should have not underestimated you. I mean, you just kill or destroy yeah. something of beauty, <laughs> and also destroy an enemy of the ministry. I would say that you have triggered two um, refreshes, uh, so you can roll. Um, I mean, you did a murder, so you can roll a d6 for the murder, and you definitely showed him that he shouldn't have underestimated you. So uh, you can roll another d6 for the for that. Okay, yeah, you're at zero stress. But you do have, and all of your probably resistance is reset from this. Um, mm-hmm. You do, however, still have the bleeding fallout from this. So if you want to try to fix it, you can. Okay. Um, okay, so can you explain again what's going to happen with the bleeding fallout? So every time you do an action, anything that would make you roll or narratively would make you like lose blood, essentially. Um, I'll have you mark one stress to blood but it will never trigger a fallout roll. So it's just going to be accruing in the background. And the next time you do have to roll for fallout, it will count then. Does that make sense? So if you want Um, to roll fixed, you'll take one, then you'll roll fix. And assuming you pass your fix roll, you would patch up the bleeding. Um, Otherwise you can keep the bleeding fallout, do other things and find other ways to heal yourself. Okay. Um, so I have a ability called Dress for Success, and it says a good cravat can cover all manner of sins. Gain access to the fix skill. Then, so is that probably only in terms of use toward that? No, or is you it just in- have the fix skill. Yeah. Anytime it says oh, okay. gain access to the skill or whatever, you just have that. Oh, okay. So I guess I've had that this whole time. Um, but anytime you fix, you have to use a cravat to do Yeah, it. you have to use a cravat. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Um, so I'm going to use my, my cravat to... Um, patch up here. Try to, try to patch this up, yeah. All right, Actually, yeah, I'm going to use the, the, the dead man's cravat, yes. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll fix um, high society, because that's where you're at. Mm-hmm. That should be 3d10. All right, success at a cost. So you do have to mark your one to blood. Um, and it can't go to armor. Uh, not that you have it, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then the cost, uh, we'll just say mark another to blood. It um, As you're doing it, it's just, you know, it's causing pain and difficulty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're just spewing blood as you do this. But you do, uh, so you mark two to blood. You do manage to fully um, <clears throat> patch yourself up. You do have to roll fallout. Uh, because two is oh well yeah because you don't have any resistance to blood right all right so go ahead and roll that fallout if you roll a one you're just going to be bleeding again (laughs) 
It's a five. You're fine. God. All right. The you have done a murder. You have done a murder and you have patched yourself up. Um, you are no longer bleeding. Okay. Um, I would be um, rifling because this is the office. I'd be I'd be rifling for information. Okay. Uh, specifically, information about other um, connections and connections to the rhymes cracks beneath household and information on that all right um go ahead and roll investigate and high society okay i do not have investigate i do have high society is that one two d10 because you have yeah you always get your base d10 plus whatever okay base. that's what i was confused about uh that's a failure what's going to happen (laughs) Um, I explode. There was a booby trap. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's what happens, but I do think that um, the door to the office opens. The dead body is still at your feet. You are rifling no. in the desk, and um, a high elf is in the doorway um, oh. and sees Alan. <laughs> Lord Allen morning snows um and just screams uh and they rush over and they're like who oh my god did you, who are you and they start just screaming bloody murder for help for the servants for the guards anybody that they can call them to die too um and you are going to take um shadow stress <laughs> bet i can track that a lot of screaming uh oh fuck you take five <laughs> stress to shadow where does that put your stress level at you uh, did do some refreshes right yes lots of refresh yeah you um, gotta have shadow resistance i have two shadow resistance okay so um i have so there's three extra and then the two from two blood. From blood. so you're at five so, so go ahead five. and roll your d10 for fallout the two we're taking Jesus. more fallout. Everybody. <laughs> everybody hold your horses. I'm opening the book again. <laughs> um, <laughs> How many fallouts has that been today? Five? I think this is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is an all time high. <laughs> you just this need is, it tabbed. Uh, you need to print it out and put on the board behind you. We really should keep a score sheet. <laughs> um... I think you're going to get arrested, Sarah. <laughs> nice. Uh, Din, you are caught. Um, you can absolutely attempt to attack this high elf as well, but the guards are okay, on their okay, way, okay. and you will be arrested at the end, like, when they get there. No matter what. I would like to ask a question. Okay. Does Din, if Din, does, I mean, if Din gets a refresh after killing every person... She could the fallout has happened. The fallout has okay. happened. Din will take well, this. No, fallout. I just mean like fight her way out, essentially, theoretically, just getting like refresh after refresh. Like, she, like killing the guards. Through. Um yeah. you would have to bust out of there. All right. If Din, if you want to attack this high elf, now is your chance. Also, um, the servants do come and look. Um, they see your mask in the visage of the masterless mask um and will witness whatever you do next okay um so i'm going to oh, fuck man uh, <laughs> i imagine they're like oh a hero oh fuck man shit <laughs> <laughs> a hero among um, drow as you <laughs> yeah i'm just like god damn it fuck <laughs> oh god okay i want to i okay Oh God, man! I got so many masks. They're all on my keychain. <laughs> chain. Just swapping um, them. I I'm gonna do something a little silly, but I at this point I'm oh, I'm going I'm cracked. I'm going all over the place. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly um change my mask again to the mask of the lover, and um. Uh, I would like the the new um, 
person to fall in love with me, please. Is that something that just happens? Like, you just get to say this NPC is in love with me, or do you have to roll? You don't have to roll. You wear an exquisitely beautiful mask gifted only to those who carry themselves with the utmost grace and poise, plus two reputation, once per session, if you so choose, an NPC falls for you. Tell the GM who. Jeez. Jesus. Okay. Well, Alan's spouse is now in love with you after you no! literally just killed him. <laughs> <laughs> it was a crime of yeah. passion. They did oh, not have a good me. relationship. Oh my god. Fuck, I mean, like, how am I supposed to resolve that with you being arrested? Because <laughs> they would just. Maybe t- they'll stop me. If I can catch up, I well, also can maybe. Yeah. This you is, could also fall in love with me out. Jen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's it's pause there. Baby. Let's pause there. <laughs> Anders. You do have to deal with the fact that you have been seen and known for who you are by someone who called you the bishop in Amaranth. Um, yep. So just want to point out that, like, I wouldn't say Anders is just like, oh, I hear my I... friend is in need. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, real quick. So as I, as I turn, I'm assuming this th- this person is just saying this out in the open. Uh, do, do I recognize them? Like, they're, they're are they from my unit or are they an elf here? Um, they are not an my... elf here. Okay. They are it... a they are not a close associate of you, but someone who is probably in like a larger platoon kind okay. of thing. Um, sure. <clears throat> so. Would a, a, enough insider that they kind of know what you were, you know, in the army called, but yeah. not so inside that like you're like, oh, it's George, you know. So. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Uh. Mm, um. As you're kind of like calculating this, they're like, "What the fuck? I you? There are wanted posters of you everywhere." And then they, you see them pause and start doing the mental calculus of how much Sten they could get if they turn you in right now. Motherfucker. <laughs> Hold your horses. I want to check my equipment real quick. Is there something really pro-cop right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, as we all know, that just isn't he true. He believes in ACAB. All cops are beautiful. My, my, my plan all along was to get arrested. Um, oh, shit. Okay. What do what do we want to do i uh, oh well mm, i can check out the illegal crossbow i i can't i can't get i can't be any more illegal than than what i am right now uh let's see we got we got a stiletto dagger oh boy um hmm wow boy. Uh, oh boy um great uh so you know what In- instead of taking the violent approach we're, we're actually just gonna is is this like a like a yelling in the street situation or have they come up to me like what's the... um they like called out to you on the street uh and now have approached you and are talking like you know from a, an acquaintance interpersonal distance of Great. five to ten feet away as as <laughs> those of us with communication degrees could <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 so um if i if i like start to take a step towards them do they stay do they go um back? are you stepping kind of towards the them here. menacingly oh yes. uh, or... no no very very you know your I body mean, language Anders is is very like friend i mean as friendly as anders can be yeah you know, like a cactus i think that anders reputation precedes him and this person yeah, takes a step back checks. They're like, oh, hey, whoa, I, sorry, hey, I didn't mean to just. Fuck. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I think you have me confused with someone else. I really don't. Yeah, hey, maybe I um, do, maybe I do, hey. sorry, and they turn around to start walking away. Uh, no, I, 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 turn around. Real quick. Uh, roll compel, <laughs> and, um. High society, since we're in Amaranth? You know, this is like from your army days. I would say... Should I go order them? Order, yeah. Perfect. 
Uh, so be 3D, Just want to point 10. out that Tyler is the GM right now. So that's true, that Tyler. You are sitting in the GM spot and I, right now. I, I, uh, Six. <laughs> you, you rules. I, Everybody's rules are so bad tonight. All right. Wow. Um, six. They, it is success at a cost. They do stop. Um, yeah. and you are um attracting attention on the street. So we will roll. Oh. Man, this is just, you're in Amaranth, you know, in broad daylight, having this just on the street. I think this is another D6. And. Yeah. Hey, that's only a one. For once, oh. I rolled a one for you. Uh, uh, and that is um against Shadow. Shadow. Okay. That'll put me at two stress total. Okay. Go ahead and roll that Fallout die. If it's a one, you take we Fallout. Know it. We know it's going to be a one. It's a right. 10. It's a one Great. and a zero at the same time. <laughs> you know what? That's what we want. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, they stop. Um, you see the crowd kind of now is, is, is like looking. It's not a crowd. A few people have kind of noticed in the same way that like people are like, oh, is there going to be a fight in the parking lot? Like, you know, um, people oh, kind sure. of like sure. turn to, to kind of glance. Sure. Uh, so these are all drow that are looking at me. Um, it is a there... mixed crowd up here. It is some drow servants. Um, and you do see s there are high elves around. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, so. Hmm. Hmm. Anders likes the shadows. This is not nice. This is not good. <laughs> well, um, we, we are pretty much at time. I don't know if you want to, you know, if we want to play out this interaction or if we want to kind of pin, like, a cliffhanger is happening with, like, what's going to happen with Din and the spouse and with Anders and the... <laughs> I'm I'm good with whatever. Yeah, I mean... I, yeah, I, I think we should pin it. I think we should respect uh, the, the time commitments everyone made. So let's go ahead and call it for the night. Um, please do, uh, Din and, and uh, well, Sarah and Tyler especially, like, write some note uh, on, on the situation that's currently happening. I will as well, but I want to make sure that we're trying to, like, pick up where we left off. Um, and, yeah, next time we'll pick up... Um, hear more from Chu, from Alvi, and from Edic about their goings-on in the Silver Quarter, as well as the trouble that Din and Anders have gotten themselves into up in Amaranth. Uh, thank you, everybody, who tuned in to watch tonight. Um, and uh, we super appreciate you all being here and hanging with us. And you remember, you can do that more by joining our Discord, exclamation point Discord. Uh, we'll get you there, as well as you can watch our next streams, which I think our next one is on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, run by Sam, who is currently this yellow block um and very adorable uh little picture above me um and then yeah you can do that thanks again am i missing anything before we say goodnight players well tyler uh, since you're the gm goodbye. you want to sign us off <laughs> yeah. yeah uh good morning good afternoon oh it's too late sam came night. back damn it <laughs> he always comes back right Sam came Tyler's back just just so that he couldn't uh take a moment to be the GM. <laughs> uh well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. fine. Next season, maybe upset. just Tyler GMing. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Uh thanks again, everybody. We will uh see you later. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye everybody. everybody.